Jared, thank you. We should point out happening tomorrow is CDC advisory is actually going to evaluate whether they will authorize Moderna as well as Johnson & Johnson's vaccine for use. Well, WDSU's Aubrey Killian continues our team coverage tonight. He looked into how school districts plan to roll out these shots for kids. Aubrey found out that NOLA Public Schools already has a plan in place if the FDA provides emergency use authorization for the Pfizer vaccine for kids 5 to 11. Aubrey is live in New Orleans to explain. Aubrey. Hey there, Travers. So right behind me, NOLA Public Schools says if this is approved, kids, they could get the vaccine when they get dropped off or picked up. And in fact, they're already planning a massive vaccine drive that's set for next month. I spoke with parents about this big development. I think it's great. Parents like Rochelle Cummings strongly support kids getting vaccinated. I think it should be mandatory because they have they're around so many kids and then they have to go home to their parents, you know, and some of the parents are up in age also. But other parents like Melissa Lee aren't too sure. We're going to see the mandates happen that we're already seeing. Masking children is already unacceptable. That's child abuse. Why do you feel that a child wearing a mask is child abuse? <laughs> How long is this gonna be? So many reasons. Children's formative development, especially in the early years, their social emotional development is so deeply linked to real human interaction. Seeing their caretakers smiling at them is so critically important. But doctors like Leron Finger at Children's Hospital says what's critically important right now is everyone getting vaccinated. I think it's the sort of beginning of the final phase. You know, we now have about two thirds of eligible folks uh, vaccinated in the country, which is tremendous. And I think getting this last uh, major age group uh, vaccinated, you know, uh, is a tremendous step towards what not maybe normalcy, but the next phase of the COVID-19 pandemic looks like. Okay, and so I also reached out to school leaders in Jefferson and St. Tammany parishes and asked them if they plan on giving kids the shot on campus right now. It does not appear that that's going to happen, but stay with us on this developing story. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.